While a positive pregnancy test for a woman can come as great news, for a man, it's largely indicative of testicular cancer. So your test came back positive. It's 2019, and you know what that means. Men can get pregnant too. Naturally, it's an accepted scientific fact among today's progressive left that whatever you were born with doesn't matter. You choose whether you're a man or woman. It's not correct that there is such a thing as biological sex. I think the biggest one for me is when I hear a man who wants to be a woman and vice versa. They don't want to be a woman, they don't want to be a man, they are. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. No, you're a pro now, honey. No, you're a it's a world out here. And considering that Planned Parenthood is America's self-proclaimed number one provider of women's health care, we wanted to see just how all in they are. It's true. I'm Stephanie, and I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. So my partner Garrett and I are going to Planned Parenthood to get ourselves some of that Plan B. So we decided to start small and see if they'd give Stephanie some good old Plan B. We wanted to talk with someone about, about Plan B. Yeah. That's just over the counter. You can just purchase that. Can I purchase that? Mm -hmm. And I can do that with you? I don't need to speak with a doctor? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Now, to be fair, they could have thought that Stephanie was picking up the Plan B for someone else. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And is there um, any side effects or anything like that that I should, that maybe might, um, might not be on you? I would just suggest take it with food. With food, mm -hmm. okay. And then as long as you don't, if you start feeling nauseous or anything, that's normal. As long as you don't throw it up with them, like right away, within the okay. minutes, then you're fine. It's dinner. It'll be so fine. the food is just really for stomach upset and outside of that, that's... that's it. Or actually, in the case of a man, infertility, loss of libido, and erectile dysfunction. Someone's gonna have a tummy ache. Show them their plan B. Show them your plan B. We're gonna take care of this. Now, a little research turned up that Planned Parenthood, America's self-proclaimed number one provider of women's health care, and recipient of 528 million tax dollars annually, have actually made it a part of their policy to treat transgender patients as any other woman, even going as far as issuing these official guidelines. So Stephanie decided to see just how far this newfound medical tolerance extends. But uh-oh, I don't think that Plan B worked. I still feel super pregnant. Isn't she glowing? So we decided to go to another Planned Parenthood to get our official pregnancy test. So Stephanie and Quarter Black Garrett scheduled a pregnancy test along with a follow-up with a nurse practitioner. And for good measure, we brought the urine of an actually pregnant woman along with us just to see how far the tolerance extends beyond, you know, medicine. Now, I know this may seem childish and stupid on the outset, but keep in mind that while a positive pregnancy test for a woman can come as great news, for a man, it's largely indicative of testicular cancer. So will Planned Parenthood do the responsible thing and let a man know that he could have potentially life-threatening cancer or stick to their progressive guns and follow their our code of conduct in regards to transgender patients. Now, keep in mind that this video has been edited both for time and maximum hilarity. The suspense is killing me. Also, the testicular cancer. So, your test came back positive. Really? Mm -hmm. The only options we can give you is that we can give you the forms for a uh, the Medicaid, if you want to go ahead and continue with the pregnancies. Okay. Give it up for adoption. Sure. The option of uh, termination. We don't do them here. Um, okay, you don't perform those here. No, we don't. Well, it's good to know that there are options. Now, to be fair, the nurse practitioner did have some questions and was seemingly concerned with potential health ramifications. As you can see, they can't even play by their own guidelines. All right, will you assign a female birth? Do you mean if I was misgendered by a doctor when I was born? Did they consider you a female when you were born? I was misgendered at birth, yeah. Okay. I don't see how that's... I mean, do you have um, ovaries, a vagina? But a little righteous indignation threw her off the scent. Let me make really clear that I am not a woman in a man's body. Mm -hmm. I am a woman. I've always been a woman. And right. I'm currently living as a woman. So they did identify me, they misgendered me as a male when I was okay. born. Okay. But are these uh, questions that are asked of every woman who comes in here? Yes, yeah. If they have ovaries, if they take testosterone? I'm asking, yeah, I'm asking what any medications that you take. Okay. After all, gotta get back to that handbook. And thank God, at no point was there any mention of potential testicular cancer. So it's a, it's a, it's a positive test, I wanna make, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, I was positive, so. It's a clear answer, it's a is clear what I'm saying. Answer. Okay, yes. good. Yes. It's not one of those kind of purple, maybe blue. No, it was definitely, it was dark. Okay. 
So there is a scale of how dark it is? Does that mean I how mean, far along I am? I can technically go by that, but okay. the, the fainter the line is, it's usually lower hormone. And But no, you can't exactly okay. go by that for dates. Sure. But it's not like but it's a, a pretty vague. distinct. It's, okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely um, okay. positive. So, okay. We'll come on up to the front and we'll get you checked out. Okay, okay? thank you very Sorry much. Sorry to get your business. Yay, no ball cancer here. I'm just pregnant. It's official. We're pregnant. Also, we met this poor bastard. Uh, this morning, my uh, girlfriend, she's like, um, they told me I have herpes. Are you kidding me? I'll tell you, I've had that in the past, and it's not like a death sentence or anything. It clears up pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, it's, I'm sure they told you that. Yeah, it's it's like it's not, yeah. I mean, it's you could do it. I mean, I know it's not easy, obviously, but it's it's not as bad as you might think it is if that helps. I just found out I'm pregnant, so. I guess congratulations. Not so fast. Okay, so after that scheduled sonogram, I will return for the termination procedure. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Any questions? Nope. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. See you then. You're welcome. Thank you for calling Planned Parenthood. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.